Yeah, not too, too sure what today's going to consist of. I know it's going to be a good one, though. We sort of got to hang around this morning for a bit, around 10, 11 o'clock. I got a phone appointment there to do. And then we'll be outside. I'd like to get digging into some things. We got that power washer yesterday. It's going to need some tender loving care. Got the green push mower there. I still want to try getting that motor running and get the motor off the deck and get the motor onto that other craftsman. So we got lots of things we want to do. Tomorrow we'll be going to the dump because it's freaking closed today. Get the rest of that stuff gone and then we'll pick up some free two by fours and whatever wonderful stuff we find at the dump. Today is going to be a good one though. I was sort of thinking about trying to get this lawnmower up on the landing today. So that's very well a good possibility. Babe's got another interview today at fucking Giant Tiger, so I imagine that'll go well, which is good. So yeah, just stay tuned and we'll get her going here, folks. Stay tuned. Honestly, it's actually pretty nice out today. It's not like hot, but it's not really cold. It's sitting around like zero, one degree. So it's just sort of a neutral weather. Oh, muskrat's just fucking giving her. Muskrat or something like that. Otter, holy fuck, he's just giving her. How you doing? No fucking wave. Just real fucking respectful right there. Early morning wave. Nope. How about early morning? Go fuck yourself. Holy, I never even realized. I was just going through some of the YouTube studio shit. And like 33% of you guys watching the Brappy videos, you from the fucking United States. Like, how the fuck you doing? There's like percentage of people watching Canada and then there's another percentage and then it says like 40 something percent of you guys who regularly watch aren't even fucking subscribed so make sure you fucking subscribe eh? but yeah it's fucking crazy I never even knew that lots of y'all are out in the states I figure it's mostly Canadians watching the good old brat show go down but more the merrier fuck stay tuned babe is up now time to get to work. First thing I'm gonna do here is I got the broom out, just gonna do some sweeping around the house and whatnot. And then uh, I think I'm gonna tackle hanging up some hats on the wall. Nice little dirt action. It's not too bad of a pile. We'll dust pan her up into the garbage and then uh, on to the next situation. So I was thinking I was going to hang a couple hats up along there, but I couldn't even figure out what hats I want to hang up right there because I have a whole box full of hats. So definitely going to need a little more time to think about what hats I want to hang up there. Maybe I'll hang all my Chicago, hang all my fucking Chicago hats up just to piss babe off because, you know, that's her favorite hockey team. So maybe we'll do that or hang my camo hats up or I don't fucking know. So for now, we're just going to scrap that ideal and then uh, going to throw on some boots here in a minute and take off the slips, go outside. And I'd like to get our, I think I want to get our burn barrel situation sort of figured out, try to empty it, bag up what's in there because we got to go to the dump tomorrow anyways. And there's some more room in the truck. So I figure we get a couple garbage bags of the ashes and whatever the fuck's in there, load that up in the truck. And then possibly load the barrel right up too. And then we'll get a new one. Or whatever. Really not much left of this fucking bird barrel. It's still holding on though. Like, you think it just want to break off? No, just holding on. Now that's pretty good. All into one bag. Rather than taking like 20, 30 bags of garbage to the dump, we just burn it all. And then you just take one. And we had a few mattresses in there too. Fucking box spring. Whole bunch of shit. So yeah, that works out pretty good. 
And that's all she wrote for that burn barrel. I tell you though, that thing right there is a lifesaver. When we first moved in, I couldn't tell you how many trips it saved us from going to the dump. So, good old reliable here. RIP going to the fucking dump. Maybe if we're just lucky, maybe we'll uh, find a new burn barrel over there. If not, I did see one like 10 minutes down a back road sitting in the fucking woods just an old burn barrel sitting there and it looked to be in fairly good shape so maybe if you don't find anything at the dump we'll go for a little gander how you doing got some more news freaking i guess my iphone is back on route to my dad's place so we'll have that back here shortly it's good, but it sort of sucks because phone I'm using right now is 120 gigs, so we can do a hell of a lot longer videos rather than my 64 gigabyte phone. But you know what? It's gonna be good to have it back. Babe can have her phone back. SJ can have his fucking paperweight of a phone back. But you never know. We'll see. Maybe I can try to fucking get like an external hard drive or something on it, or I don't know trading in for a new one bigger fucking storage plan get 228 gigabytes fuck yeah got you guys set up i'm gonna go down and unlock the truck grab a couple of ratchet straps and see if i can't tighten down the load for tomorrow Good thing is we don't have too far to travel. We don't have too far to go. We just gotta make sure drop down good enough to make it down the highway in about five minutes or so, maybe ten.
already got this one out, so I might as well use her. Might as well use the cunt. like that should do. Dibs home. <laughs> Made some cookies. We're gonna have a uh, a glass of milk, a few cookies, and then uh, call her a night. So, we'll see you later.